This, we're very glad to say, is the, uh, the first um, site that we have in Northern Ireland. In fact, it's actually the first large-scale um, ground-mounted site in the whole of Ireland. Um, it's about 35 acre site. Uh, its capacity is 3.4 megawatts and the good thing about this is, is that 100% of the electricity is supplied directly to Belfast International Airport so they are going to use uh, all of the electricity to power you know, whatever is being, needing powered in the airport itself. We have another, probably another 15 sites to build between now and the end of March. Um, our, our intention is to continue to build um, next year and beyond in Northern Ireland. Um, clearly, if we can build adjacent to a large electricity user, then that's great. So any landowners out there, farmers out there, they've got land near to someone who uses a lot of electricity, then we'd love to have a conversation with them. The normal scenario is that we would lease the land. Um, this is unusual in that we actually have bought this land because it, it came up for sale, uh, but that's very much the exception rather than the rule. And we tend to lease the land on a fixed rent per acre index linked for 25 years. So, you know, you don't have to worry about crops failing, you don't have to worry about you know flooding, etc. It's a guaranteed um, uh, payment year on year. Um, you know, one of the things that we find is that you know a lot of the farmers, rather than setting all of their land over to solar, they take a section of their land and set it across to solar. So it's another form of diversification for the farmer. We tend to sow everything out on grass. 70% of our sites um, <clears throat> in the UK currently have grazing rights, so we would graze sheep is, is the most common, but there's also chickens and llamas and alpacas, who knew? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, that, that if you actually look at this site, you'll see that the, the panels are actually quite high off the ground. So this has actually been built the way it has in anticipation of um, this being used for grazing. Um, but we'll also do things like we, you know, we, we will sow wildflowers, we are um, putting in bees in a lot of our sites. Um, and, you know, so we're, we're using the fact that this site is going to be you know, set aside for 25 years um, and using that, if you like, to our advantage to see any other you know, positives we can get um, out of the land.